I acknowledge that our current service performance is unacceptable and that the status quo should be acceptable to no one. But I also believe that the solutions are within reach if we can agree to work together. Uh, number one, our, our network and financial condition and service have been eroding for years. Uh, we have been in a bad business model uh, 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 that has been allowed to exist both by the Congress and by our regulators and by uh, efforts by previous management teams, for the most part, have been stymied, uh, uh, and in some cases, their own reluctance to take on the challenges that needed to be taken on to uh, uh, address the change. We had pockets like in Chicago, Detroit, Philadelphia. We have 750 routes. We only had 400 carriers to go out on a day. Uh, the, 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 the pandemic, the Postal Service experienced a pandemic like... Uh, uh, everyone, everyone, everyone else. The hard reality is that years of financial stress, underinvestment, unachievable service standards, and the lack of operational precision have resulted in a system that does not have adequate resiliency to adjust and adapt to changing circumstances. Too many Americans were left waiting for weeks for important deliveries of mail and packages. This is unacceptable, and I apologize to those customers who felt the impact of our delays. All of us at the Postal Service, from our board, to our leadership team, to our union and association leadership, to every employee, strive to do better in our service to the American people, and we will do better. 